Say hi. Good morning, everybody. Excuse my horrendous appearance right now. It's currently quarter past eight on Friday morning. It's the 14th of August. Um, and we had a lot of thunderstorms last night. Finally, so basically in the UK for the last week, it's been like 34 degrees, which is just hot. Like really, really hot. Thing is like, I know a lot of like other countries don't see that as very hot, but in the UK, we are not equipped. We don't have aircon, we don't have swimming pools and things to just like dive into as and when. We still have to work through it as much as we can during this pandemic. And yeah, it's just hot and it's muggy and it's close. So we've been brewing a thunderstorm for a long time. And finally, we got a bit of one last night. Most of the UK already had one over the last few days, but where I'm living, um, we just didn't. So me and Dan got up at half past one last night when we heard the storm and we watched it, which was really good fun. I love doing that. I actually really like thunderstorms. Don't judge me. But yeah, so we have just had breakfast. Jasper has just had carrot cake oats. Um, and I just had avo on toast with a fried egg. Um, and yeah, I actually recently just posted a what my toddler eats in a day video. So if you guys fancy checking that out, I will link it down below for you. Just a quick little video about a day in the life of Jasper's diet, really, of what, what he consumes and what he doesn't consume. But yeah, I'm just having a very chilled Friday. Sorry I look a bit scary, I've got fake tan on, I need to like rinse this off. But I thought I'd just take you along with me to see what we get up to today because I vowed I will vlog more, so this is what I'm doing. But yeah, first up, clean the kitchen. day honestly my hair where i've been bleaching it is so frazzled but hey um so yeah i've just got this new top on from misguided um i haven't shopped to misguided in ages but i was buying a birthday present for a friend and i saw a couple of bits i liked myself so i got this one it says papillons um but yeah it's just like a purpley gray like a brownie purpley gray with these butterflies on blood butterflies are like really in at the moment and then I've just got my Zara, like, mum, you can't really see, mum jeans. Um, I love these. These didn't actually fit me pre-pregnancy, so it was always a bit of a, a clothes victory win when they fit. And as you can see, I've fake tanned. And then on my face, I've just gone for, like, hardly any foundation, just a little bit of the ordinary foundation with um, MAC Muller Over Lipstick. Uh, L'Oreal pomade on my brows, just mascara, a bit of bronzer, a bit of highlight, and then I've just tied my hair up a bit um, in a low bun. I'm kind of loving the low buns at the moment. I find they kink my hair a bit less if I wear them in a low, but it is about to rain. I need to get this little guy ready, and then we're heading out. But it's actually, let me turn around. 
it's actually really hot. Um, so even though it's drizzy, like I don't really want to wear a jacket. Um, but I might just have to throw one over. But yeah, I'm going to go get my little guy ready and we're going to head out. So I might as well show you Jasper's outfit for the day. Do you want that one? As well. But he is in all in Zara. This gorgeous little... <laughs> it's going to be difficult. Come here then. Okay. So he's got this gorgeous like camel beige sand coloured t-shirt with like little umbrellas on which say secrets done something and then he's got these like cargo jogger style um trousers which go tight at the ankles which i love because jasper's short and a lot of his trousers i do have to look at him playing with the butterfly 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 um and a lot of his trousers i have to um roll up but these are nice because they're nice and snug around his ankle but his bottoms are 12 to 18 months and I think his top is 18 months. He is 18 months, <coughs> but he's on the short side. Um, butterfly. And I also, while I was here, I thought I'd just quickly run through, if any of you are interested, what I actually use when I change Jasper. So I'm currently using a mix between the Audi white, bless you darling, for sensitive skin and these ones um, from Tesco, they're the Fred and Flow, but these are the biodegradable wet wipes, which are fragrance free. And they're amazing. Don't get me wrong, like it's hard because I love water wipes, uh, which are amazing. And I love the Pampers Pure because um, they have, they're a lot wetter. So I find like when they've got a really dirty bum, like they're a lot easier to like clean everything off. You don't have to use as many wipes. Whereas these are a bit drier. Um, so you need to use a few more. They remind me a little bit of like Huggies ones. Um, but they're kinder for the environment, so. Dumbo. Dumbo. So yeah, I use it, and they're so cheap from Tesco anyway. And then I use um, Audi nappies. He, he's currently in a size five, four plus five. So I use those, um, and I also use the Audi pull-ups, and I also use the Pampers 360 pull-ups as well. Um, I just go between the two whenever it's on offer. But yeah, I know that probably wasn't of any interest to a lot of you, but... I'm quite nosy and I also always use a bit of pseudocreme and top tip I don't know if everyone does this but someone told me this when I was pregnant and I've done it ever since so when Jasper was born we always had a grey muslin cloth which we designated as the bum cloth oh teddy bear teddy bear um so once he's been wiped and clean i always dry his bottom off with a muslin and then put his pseudocreme on and his nappy after i just didn't like the thought of him being moist and like wet down there from like a fresh wet wipe and just not being comfortable and getting sore so yeah i always have a designated bum cloth to dry his bottom but yeah i'm now gonna tidy this mess that he's creating and we're gonna get on out of here it's a kiss <laughs> goodbye Cheers. <laughs> so I just paired, um, prepared Jasper some lunch for when we're out and about. So he's just got some leftover greens mac and cheese, which is a Jamie Oliver veg recipe, and he loves this. And a couple of just cheese and chive um, like breadsticks. He's got some star, cucumber, and chopped tomato. He's got some chopped cherries and a strawberry, and then some pombers. And then I've just got his water here. So I just pop it in this bag with a little book and some distractions for if we're waiting for food. And off we go. Do you approve, young sir? Yeah. Do you want a snack? Yeah? Okay, what do you want? What have I got on there for you to have today? Toast with berries, but we're going out. So. Hmm? So he's just now going to have an organic apple and date fruit bar. Can you hold your bum? Hold your bum. Come here, Jess. Come here. Mm. Mm. We'll put them in our way. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, purple. That's one. <laughs> You're trying to say hi. Can you put your arm in? Ready. Is. I'm put that on mummy's leg a minute. Oh, oh, 
butterfly. It's absolutely, I need to turn that around before I get copyrighted. It is absolutely pouring down. I mean, look. Absolutely pouring down. I've left my bedroom window open, but I cannot be bothered to go and shut it. Oh. So we are now off. I don't know how the day is going to go, but we're going to go and he's got his waterproofs on. We're just going to have some fun and splash in some puddles. Yeah. So let's go and get my mama and see what she's saying. Honestly. Moan about the hot weather and then when it rains. Secretly loving it. Look who fell asleep in the car at 10 a.m. Doesn't nap till 12. <laughs> at least that'll keep him going for a bit. And the weather's brightening up a little bit now as well, so. Yeah. Oh, definitely, definitely. Look! Stick. Good nanny, go splashing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, ready, go. Ready, go. Come on then. Gas, <laughs> gas Oh. Yay, splashes. Jump! Jump ready, go on then. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! <laughs> yay! Wow, you are brilliant splashing. Better get our buggy. went out with kids, hat lunch, water, book, toys. Yeah babe? You put it on his lid in front of him but he wants to eat it out of the tub. Oh, no he's proving me wrong. <laughs> Delicious. So we are now home. Um, I've just put Jasper down for a sleep because obviously he was shattered. It's actually like five to two now. Oh, that light. Um, it's actually like five to two now and he dozed off about half past one, um, which normally he goes to bed an hour, if not an hour, a half, an, an hour and a half before that. So yeah, it's all that thing, but he was fine. So he's gone down now. So I've just made myself a little bit of lunch. I'm basically just having one of my favourite snacks, which is apple, banana and peanut butter, because I had a tea cake when we went out for a little bit of food and I had quite a carby breakfast, so I just want to have something quite light now. And then I'm just going to catch up on inside misguided or something is a new documentary on channel four and a youtuber that i watch called jordan lipscomb who is just 
another level. Um, she actually features on it because she has a range with Misguided, so it's like a little documentary. So I'm just gonna sit and eat this and watch that. And then it's one of my best friend's birthday today, so I'm then gonna bake some cakes for her. But yeah, I've just been doing a little bit of work in my diary. And now, honestly, my skin at the moment, I never break out. And like, look at all this. Because I haven't been eating very good. <laughs> Hence the fruit. Get some fruit in me. Um, but yeah, so I've just been sorting some workouts. So I'm just going to chill for a bit and then go from there. But yeah, time to relax. <laughs> So I've watched that documentary, sorry I'm running hot water, and I would highly, highly recommend it. I find it so interesting to see like, that. sorry I'm so shiny, I've got hardly any makeup on today. Um, I found it really interesting to see like the business side of like what happens in fast fa um, within fast fashion. I'm actually wearing Misguided myself today and I really love Misguided. I just haven't shopped from there for ages, but after watching that it's actually probably inspired me to like shop there a little bit more it just it was really interesting to see the business side of it and oh my god guys guys i mean look oh no these are some of my oh no oh god okay let me go back to that basically i just wanted to show you this tip basically packing um things what they call packing nuggets if you run hot water on them they just disintegrate down the sink which is amazing rather than having to chuck it all away i just found that absolutely amazing i'm now really <laughs> let me just turn that off i'm now really worried that i've had ripped jeans for ages and my mum didn't tell me like is that a vibe can i can i work with that work with that or should I get that sewn? <sighs> Why is it always your favourite pair of jeans as well? It's like buggers me off. Anyway, I'm just about to get baking. I'm just about to do the washing up and get rid of the rest of those packing nuggets. I don't know what they're called, but basically they came from my Amazon delivery, which is... So I just had some parcels come through and I just wanted to show you what's arrived. So I basically got this mug here and this book which as you can see is the Zoella Zoe Sug collaboration with Etsy which I'm obsessed with. These are just two of the items I bought. I'm not gonna lie, I pretty much ordered the entire range. Really good, it's like notebook made from recycled card and 100% sustainable paper. She's doing two of these and then the mug is with someone called Megan Louise Ceramics. There she's there. And I am just obsessed. It goes with kind of all my kitchen feels with the pinks and the blues. And I love, Dan absolutely hates this like concrete stone feeling, but I love it. And this size for me is absolutely perfect. Like it's a proper, nice, small mug. I have very small hands as well, and as you can see, I can hold this perfectly. And this for me is a perfect little coffee mug. I drink a lot of coffee, but I don't, I always leave a bit at the bottom. So this is perfect. And then from Amazon, my outdoor solar lights have arrived. These are just little like frosted um, bulb lights. And these took to go on our pergola, which I will show you later. And they're warm. So here's our little thing. But yeah, I thought I'd just quickly show you that before I get on with baking also mini dark chocolate Toblerone. To if any of you want to know, <laughs> Toblerone is my favourite chocolate in the entire world, along with a gold bar. Um, so I thought I would buy these little ones from Poundland earlier. And they are the dark ones, which I thought are a nice little treat to have. So here is all my ingredients. I'm doing, it's a Jane um, patisserie recipe, just called lemon bars. Really easy. So I've got my five lemons. I've got five eggs here because it says to use six medium eggs and I've only got large. So I might use four, maybe add the fifth one if needed. 350 grams of sugar, 50 grams, well, caster sugar, 50 grams of plain flour. So that there is for the lemon curd topping. And then this is for the shortbread, which is just, um, 300 grams of plain flour. Let me just turn 
mama made down. 300 grams of plain flour, 100 grams of caster sugar, and 200 grams of butter. So I'm just gonna grate my lemon zest now. So it says to zest five lemons, and then to use 250 ml of lemon juice. So let's get going with it. So that is the five lemons zested. So now I have to squeeze the juice in here. So let's see how that goes. Does that help? Yeah. So Dan and I, what great lighting. Started watching In Betweeners from the beginning again recently. And oh my God, it's one of those shows that no matter how many times I watch it, oh my God, this lighting. <gasps> No matter how many times I watch The Inbetweeners, it would never not be funny. Don't get me wrong, some of the stuff on there now we wouldn't be able to get away with nowadays. Because the world is a precious old world. Um, but yeah, if I ever need a pick-me-up or a feel-good, The Inbetweeners gets me. It's just British sense of humour, you know? Like, nothing quite beats it. Gavin and Stacey, Inbetweeners, um... What else? I don't know now, that sounds gross, I do apologize. Um, but yeah, those kind of classics that you just always go back to, that you can watch again and again. I think like one, I mean, I can even tell you how many times I've watched Gavin and Stacey, um, but I know when me and Dan used to go out pre-Jasper, we used to go out and get drunk. Um, we would spend most of our Sundays hungover, just watching Gavin and Stacey just absolutely love it and now I've re-watched the in-betweeners I just need to re-watch the in-betweeners movies now because the dancing if you ever want to know what I look like dancing watch the in-betweeners movie that is my dancing skills right there oh these lemons are juicy to be fair the cuts on my hands are holding up well they're holding up well I actually really love lemon juice and so does Jasper. Like, I made, um, I gave Jasper some hummus with his lunch the other day. Oh, and I put a bit of lemon juice in it because I mean, who doesn't love a bit of lemon juice and hummus? And I took the rind away and he started kicking off. So I gave it back to him and he was literally just like on the lemon juice, on the lemon rind, living his best life. Didn't care at all. I was like, fair play. Loves a sour taste, just like his mama. But yeah, I, I, I've i stopped and I really need to get doing it again because I think it'll help my skin. Um, but I used to drink hot water and lemon every single morning and then just top it up throughout the day. I do still drink a lot of water, but hot water and lemon was the one. And then um, drink my coffee like in the afternoon. But because I drink decaf now, I've not drank caffeinated coffee for the best part of 2020 to be honest been a lot of changes this year um i just have about four cups of that a day because i feel like it's fine because it's decaf when actually a hot water and lemon you can't go wrong it's refreshing but it's warming and it's so good for your skin it's unbelievable it also like helps take away hunger so like if you feel like you're hungry have like lemon water and it would just suppress that hunger a little bit and like just rehydrate you because a lot of people get confused with being hungry to actually just being dehydrated i'm one of those people um so when you find you're like picking getting a bit like picky in the afternoon just have some water lemon water there's someone i follow on youtube actually called sam oxar something i think her name is i'll link her down below she's american but she calls it pretty water and i love that so you can put whatever you want in it whether it's mint cucumber fruit grapefruit lemon strawberries berries kiwi oranges whatever you want and she calls it pretty water keep it in the fridge all day and you're living the absolute dream right i'm gonna do one more lemon because we're nearly at 200 it is 200 oh 225 oh that's annoying let me just see if i can get 25 mil out of the rest of these then 
Also, random, I know this is like a bit of just a chatty moment, but is anyone else loving um, Perry and Jordan on Kiss Breakfast? I, not gonna lie, the mum life in me has come out and I normally listen to heart radio in the morning. Um, I love Amanda and Jamie Feakston, I think they're hilarious. Um, but the chemistry between the two boys of Perry and Jordan, they just make me laugh. They just absolutely make me laugh. So I have been watching that and enjoying that. Um, well, not watching it, listening to it. Um, I am trying to listen to things more. I am a massive YouTube lover and spend a lot of my time watching more YouTube than anything else. But I am trying to get back into my podcast and listen to music and the radio again because it makes me feel good. And it means I can focus on doing other things because I'm not visually having to look at anything. I can just listen. But yeah, anyway, that's my lemon juice. I'm just gonna get those pips out of that now. Um, get rid of these and go on to the next step. So all my ingredients are fully laid out now. As you can see, I've got my mixing bowls, my whisk, and my baking parchment in my tin. But the first step is to cream the sugar and butter together. Mix in the flour until the dough is formed. It'll be crumbly, but even okay. Then add the flour. I would say that that is crumbly, so I'm just gonna pop it in the tin and then just like press it down, I suppose. Your Highness has just woke from his nap, so he's just having a little snack. He's got some little coconut um, rolls here and some veggie sticks. Um, and we're just gonna pop the telly on and let him have a little half hour chill because he likes to do this after in the afternoon. And it's a drizzly gray old day and we've been out all morning and he's tired because he had a busy night last night, went out to watch some football. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna sit, got a little drink and relax for a little bit. Love you. Mm. I know it's coming. <laughs> Guess who wants a little loving <laughs> when he comes home with some flowers? What a little tree. It is our anniversary today. Yesterday? Yesterday. 14th today. I thought it was 15th today. No, 14th today. Oh, I put the 15th on the um, track and trace that I went to. That's awkward. You were there. Uh... You're, you're from the future, are you? It's the 14th. Yeah. Oh. Awkward. Yeah, they're pretty. They can go in here. And little man's just enjoying his little snacky. Yay! Yay. <laughs> oh, daddy. Is that a top? Daddy. Oh, that was a little what Poundland buy. Oh, yeah. Because he got a bit wet, so I had to quickly just grab a um, vest from Poundland. Yeah, yum, yum. Fruit stock up. So that's now cooked for 23 minutes, so it doesn't wobble anymore. So let that cool for two hours. And now just having some coffees. So it's a little bit later now, it's quarter to seven. We've just finished up having tea and Dan's been gem and just blitzed round downstairs for me. And now he's taking Jasper up for a bath. Let me just turn that down. Um, my sister came over for a little bit to see us. Um, so I just caught up with her. And then, yeah, like I said, we just had tea, um, which again, like I said, I filmed a recent what we eat in a day video, so go check it out. Um, and then we just blitzed up, so all washing up stands, so I'll put that away later. All tidy, this is just my new workout thing. Just lit my um, Sassy Wax. My friend has a wax melt company called Sassy Shop Wax. Go check them out, they're amazing, really reasonable, incredible smelling. So I'm currently smelling a mint one i think well actually no i think it's a cleaning one but yeah so i just popped that on new wax um and i just wanted to quickly show you my 
cake thing. So it's now in the fridge. So it's had two hours cooling time um, outside. And now it's got, not outside, but you know. And now it's just got to cool and set in the fridge for the rest of the night. So you can see I caught the edges a little bit here, but I'll have those bits. Um, and hopefully it'll be all good. So it's slotted in there nicely. Um, yeah, Jasper has just gone up. I think he's a bit teethy today. He's quite clingy. Um, so I'll probably give him some teething powder. Dan's just bathing him now. Um, I'm going to go up, get him ready for bed, put him to bed. And then take my makeup off and come and down and chill. So I think I'm going to close this vlog off here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed a little day in the life of Jasper and I on a day off. Sorry, Dan's not been in it much. Obviously, he's been working. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm going to try and do one of these once a week. So I'm going to try and do like a different video and then try and do these. It'll probably be more vlogs if I can't get another video up. But yes, thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will see you at some point next week. But yeah, smash that thumbs up for me if you like this video. And please do not forget to hit subscribe as I'd love to have you on board. But yeah, thanks for keeping up to date with my little family and I'll see you next time. Bye.